So let's talk Enigma Codes, Cryptography, and Turing's bombing machine. We're in the middle of a world war and you've got mathematicians trying to outthink Nazi technology with, you know, what seems like impossibly complex puzzles. Yeah, and the Enigma machine wasn't just some beginner level cipher device created these insanely layered encryption systems. Every rotated rotor, every plug board connection, all of it added more complexity. To the Germans, it seemed like their messages were, you know, invincible. Right. Invincible being the key word there, or so they thought. Uh, enter Alan Turing and his team at Bletchley Park. What blew my mind when I first read about this was that they didn't go at it with today's, you know, computerized approaches. We're talking early electromechanical machines designed to guess and test millions of possibilities at speed. Exactly. And central to that was what became the bomb. So, picture this. It's this tall, boxy machine filled with rotating drums. Each drum simulated the action of an Enigma rotor, checking combinations rapidly. They could find the secret daily settings in time to actually use the information during war time. And it wasn't just brute force, right? There's this method to the madness. They'd use these cribs, yuck, which were basically known snippets of plain text or weather reports. The bomb would use those to work backwards. And because Enigma couldn't, you know, match a letter to itself, that gave them a crack to exploit. Yeah, the no letter to itself rule was a fatal flaw. Germany just didn't realize it was baked into the system. Right. And, uh, and once Turing and the team exploited it, it wasn't immediate, but the bomb turned days or weeks of manual code breaking into something manageable within hours. That was game changing. It really redefined cryptography. And beyond that, like, yeah, the scope of what machines could do, suddenly computation wasn't just about mathematical theory anymore, it was solving life and death situations. And people, teams of people, like the Women's Royal Naval Service, the Wrens, were keeping these things running 24-7.